Yo, how's it going guys? It's Abs here and welcome back to another Gears of War lore video. So in this video I'm going to be explaining the locust corpses that are seen in the Gears of War universe. So as always if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss a single lore video and yet the corpses are not like your average house spider. So let's explain and break down the locust corpses that are seen in the Gears of War universe. So the locust corpses were one of the many natural denizens of the hollows on Sera and the hollow was an underground tunnel network beneath the surface of Sera that was home to indigenous subterranean creatures as well as the locust horde. So the hollows were located in the crust of Sera. The hollow was separated between the inner hollow and outer hollow and the corpses as well as many of the hollow creatures were eventually tamed by the locust horde as tools for war and the corpses were enhanced by the locust head scientist Ukon. The corpses were used to dig tunnels all across Sera, allowing locust forces to move undetected and even behind cog lines. The Jacinto Plateau, which was positioned atop a solid granite plateau, was the only place on Sera that the locust could not use corpses to dig through. Even though corpses were more strategic than offensive, they were still considered very very dangerous and they were known to track and stage ambushes hinting at a relatively high level of intelligence or instinct and the corpses were around 36 feet tall on average and they were extremely durable and they had grey and white skin corpses were often seen moments before locust attacks and often symbolised the locusts emergence on E-Day and at some point during the 7th cycle of the Lambert War Volkan discovered a deformed corpse with a missing leg and decided to nurture it, and he called this the Shibboleth. Voldkan then requested that Ukon help mend and modify the Shibboleth. Ukon not only devised a metal leg for the Shibboleth, but he also modified it with armor plating, troikas, emulsion bombs, and designed it with the ability to expel nemesis and diggers, as well as to breathe fire as well. The shibboleth was unique in that it had claws very close to that of an infant corpse, one of which is a mechanical prosthetic, and with the ability to launch nemesis. Shibboleth was extremely unique in that it appeared to serve the locust, or at least Khan, on its own free will, rather than being broken and forced into servitude like some of the other animals. It is unknown if the shibboleth was unique or if there were others of its kind, and we don't know if there were corpse mutations like the Hydra which was the result of mutating Reavers, we don't know if there was the same thing for that but for the corpses. Although much of the corpse population was wiped out after Operation Hollow Storm in the Locust War, when the ancestral home of the Locust was sunk, a sizable number of corpses did manage to escape but they became wild. Some of them were found by the savage locust and kept in captivity to be bred and tamed for battle in the Deadlands. Delta Squad later confronted a number of these corpses as they made their way through Savage Locust territory. Unfortunately, Delta Squad accidentally stumbled into a corpse and nest, and a hatchling burst out of one of the eggs, but it was killed when it attempted to attack them. The death of its offspring enraged the mother corpse, who was absolutely huge, who let out a roar which caused the other eggs to hatch. Now Delta fought off the hatchlings, and the mother corpse appeared to face its offspring's killers. Presumably, corpses sexually reproduced like most creatures on Sera by nature, meaning they lay eggs rather than give live birth. They normally hatch on their own time, but are capable of hatching on their mother's call, usually to defend the nest. When corpses are born, they're actually quite small and frail by adult standards, roughly coming up to the size of a large Seran dog in comparison. They were also quite pale and most likely blind at this stage of development. However, they probably possessed acute hearing or smell out of the shell, given Delta's battle with the corpse and nest in their journey across the Deadlands. Now, corpses were born with four fingers, if you want to call it that, and given the difference between a corpse hatchling, the Deadlands mother corpse, and the militarized adult corpse, corpses most likely grew more claws the older they got, up to a total of eight at adulthood. They also grew in size, strength, and durability as expected from most animals. Even at adolescence, corpses were remarkably sturdy, capable of taking a motorized chainsaw to the face and still living to fight another day. And after the activation of the emotion countermeasure weapon in 17 years after emergence day, which ended the Locust War, 
all of the Locust and the Lambent were killed, so it is unknown if any corpses survived or whether or not they evolved into members of the Swarm. So there you have it guys, that's the Gears of War Locust corpses explained. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and comment down below what you think of the Locust corpses and what you thought of the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel and be sure to check out my playlist for all Gears of War lore content. And be sure to follow me on Twitter at KingGabsTV. Hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.